Good morning, folks. Getting right into the RSOE alert map, where Kentucky saw a mass carp death in Harlan County. In Pennsylvania, a low radioactivity device went missing from a job site. It's yet unaccounted for. You were aware that in Alaska had some volcanic rumbling. NASA's Earth Observatory caught a good heat image of the ash cloud. But since then, three more volcanoes have erupted or showed significant activity in Vanuatu, Philippines, and Indonesia. Second day in a row, a rare four-pointer location out impresses the five magnitude quakes. Not far from some weather that turned deadly as a storm said goodbye to Northland. Shouldn't be as bad going forward there, but yesterday's Perth warning is now in full effect. For the first time in days, I'm not reporting deadly hail or flooding in the region of Malaysia or India. Their thunderstorms continue and the border region between them is still my top watch area. Europe got a cell cresting Portugal, Spain, into France. That will bring the rain as lightning indoors but is fading in the Mediterranean. That low in the U.S. southeast did indeed produce localized flooding, but also included some significant damage when it dropped hail on Tennessee. That cell will threaten the Carolinas and Virginia with flooding today, while the next cells creep in from the Pacific. You'll notice NOAA says the severe weather could return tonight, just north of Texas there, and the low is already drawing moisture, heat, and energy north from the Gulf of Mexico to create that instability for tonight. The GOES X-ray monitor shows a lull in solar activity. The sun had bounced back from 18 months of nearly uninterrupted and unexpected quiet during the solar maximum, but she's back there today. The big guys down south are still quiet, but it's a trio now with the new group just north of the center between them. Up north, the region that popped the M5 flare days ago has decayed to almost nothing since catching a glimpse of Earth, and in the southeast, they still need to get their act together. Four days ago, a dark coronal hole had just set its solar wind stream our way. Yesterday, we said the impact was taking place. Today, the ACE solar wind metrics are holding at those high numbers, so let's go to SOHO solar wind data to check it out over a longer time scale. You clearly see the speedy particles registered up top, and unlike a CME impact, coronal hole streams have no real density to them, and the spike in protons comes before the speedier particles which are bunching up the slower ones out in front of the leading edge, just like a shovel would with snow. Yesterday, the geomagnetics appeared all right, but we thought they might get more unstable. Well, that did indeed happen, but only to a slight degree. The magnetometer shows minor disturbances to the shield with some minor plasma penetration into the ionosphere. Induction's building slowly from the baseline, but so far we have no macro-level instability or magnetic storms. The most fickle umbral field of the year kept changing her mind yesterday, popped back open in an earth-facing position. You will remember that we have Mars and Mercury headed in to conjoin. Keeping both in mind, folks, we are approaching the end of this major watch and we have seen no significant quakes. The last big one was the last day of the last watch, April 26th. The umbral field and corona hole faced Earth on May 3rd and we called for a major watch going forward. Now while this has no bearing on the 77% of large quakes covered in the watch periods this year, we have not had a major watch fail to increase the number of significant quakes compared to the time just before it. Been 6 for 6 so far, but another 4 or 5 days of quiet and this will be our first failure of 2013. Lastly, we got NASA's endless spiral claiming a minor CME is headed in to give a glancing blow to Earth indicated coming off the southwest or bottom right quadrant as we see it. I'll leave you with shots of our star and if you haven't seen the trailer for the film coming out May 18th, just google how to watch the sun. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6:45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.